morning dear students today we are going to start our english grammar class with the remaining chapter active voice and passive voice dear students in this chapter till now we already discussed that general rules of conversing active voice to passive voice dear students in today's class we will discuss about rules of conversion from active voice to passive voice according to tenses according to tense how can you change the sentence uh, into active to passive that will uh, that thing we will learn today only at first we will talk about simple present tense dear students you already know that simple present tense formula i will write here
play third form play play third form play after that by by who me this is a passive voice of present continuous now we will discuss about present perfect tense At 
first we will write the formula about active voice. First tense form of the verb means we can say that verb second form will be given in active voice. And whenever you are going to change into simple past into passive voice, then you have to know that you have to write was or verb plus verb third form. I will write you example. The same example I will follow. Mimi play the sita. This one is your subject. This one is your verb second form means simple past, and this one is your object. Whenever you are going to change into passive voice, then at first you have to write the sita. Sita is singular, so we have to write was. Third form already mentioned. Second and third is same of the play. Play by who? Me. This is your simple past. Now we will talk about past continuous.
that not be changed into passive means you can write here no change in any type of the past perfect continuous tense dear students this about past tense now we will discuss about future tense dear students now we will talk about future tense and in future tense at first we will talk about simple future simple future tense simple future formula at first we have to write whenever sentence sentence will come in active voice then how can you identify that sentence is of the simple future then you have to know that sir or will plus verb first form uh, is given then you can say that the sentence is in simple future and whenever you are going to change into simple future into past then how can you write shall be or will be plus verb third form you have to mention whenever you are going to change into passive voice like i will write here Mimi will play the sitar. Mimi will play the sitar. This one is your subject. This one is your verb. This one is your object. Let us write your object. Mimi is passive. The sitar. After that, what will you have to write? Will be. future tense in active voice shall be plus verb first form will be given and whenever you are going to change into passive voice then you have to add be and you have to change first form into verb third form and other rules are same only now we will talk about future continuous and here also most important thing it will not be changed into passive voice but i will write here formula shall be or will be plus the first form plus ing this is formula of active voice and passive voice we can say that no change so not any formula you have to write here that you have to write no change because future continuous tense sentence is also not be changed into passive voice now we will talk about future perfect future perfect formula of the active voice at first you have to remind that Shall or will plus have and after that the third form you have to mention here. After that, whenever you are going to change into passive voice, then that structure structure will be changed into one thing only you have to add here. Shall or will plus have been. Plus verb third form. That thing only you have to add. Right? Example, I will write. Mimi will have play the sita. Mimi will have played the sita. But whenever we are going to change into passive voice, then The Sita will have been played by me. This is your passive voice. Means it's your subject. This is your. Uh, we can say that 
complete for and this one is your object according to rule you have to change into passive and last one future perfect continuous future perfect continuous formula is here cell or will plus adding plus for first form plus ing this is the formula of active voice and whenever we are going to change into passive voice then that type of sentence is not going to convert into passive so we can say that uh, say that uh, no chance will be there dear students it's about active voice and passive voice tense rules in next class we will discuss about rules for the conversion of imperative sentences and other rules are also here like interrogative sentences and auxiliary sentences and infinitive verbs dear students i hope you understand that the conversion of active voice to passive voice according to tense rules if you have any type of doubt then surely you can ask me through google meet class thank you so much